strengthen European budgetary oversight, if I understand it correctly, and oversight of public finances have prevented us from seeing the, the Irish drama because that was that was the pro problem of public finances. It was a problem of too cheap credit fueling a totally maddened building sector, a banking sector, European banks who took part in all this happily, and then at some point the bubble burst. I mean, you would rather need some, some very strong macroeconomic oversight based in Brussels or somewhere to look at these structural I think that's to be but, 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 but how should that work? Because we've had this system of peer review for the yeah. ever since the monetary union has existed, and the first ones to, to break it up were the Germans and the French. So, so, so how, how, how should one on the European level prick bubbles like these before it's too early? Well, I think the European Banking Authority has, has to have uh, a robust role in that. Um, though the, the, the critical role of the European Banking Authority in recent months hasn't exactly covered it in glory. Um, so we need to look at that and how it can be made more robust. I think that at the centre of all of this has to be the European Commission. Um, certainly from an Irish point of view, um, we, we're not huge enthusiasts of s establishing new structures and you know, reinventing the wheel. We have um, a commission which is independent um, and which has the capacity um, to play a very key role um, in that sort of oversight, uh, macro and micro. Um, and I think that um, as, as solutions to this to this crisis in the long term evolve, I think the, the Commission certainly has to be at the centre of it.